Welcome. You've made it to the Farm Bill Toolbox, and the portion of that Farm Bill Toolbox that's designed to help you make commodity program decisions. This video is going to provide you with an overview of the decisions that you will make and the process that we're going to lead you through in this website to help you make that decision. There are three sets of decisions that you're going to make for each one of the FSA farms, the farm service agency farms that you have under your control. The decisions that you can make can vary across those farms. The three decisions are retain or update program yields, keep or reallocate crop base acres, and finally the third decision is to choose to receive comp commodity program payments through ARC County, PLC or price loss coverage, and ARC, Agricultural Risk Coverage, Individual Option. The time frame in which landowners and producers will have to make these decisions is unknown. Updating and yield and reallocation decisions, the first two decisions can be made after September 29th. We still don't know when the period for that sign up for one and two will end, but you will be making decisions on updating yields and reallocating acres before you make the program choice. The program choice, the third choice, will begin sometime in the future. We are going to take you through seven steps to make those three decisions. You can make whatever jokes you want to about seven versus three. The seven steps are listed at the top of this page and are at the top of the web pages that, uh, that are leading you through this decision. If you click on any one of those seven steps, you go automatically to this, that step. In addition, there's a previous and continue button highlighted by the red arrow that would take you to the next step or the previous step. The first step will just tell you the information that you need to make these decisions. The information that you will need is an FSA letter dated July 28th and yields from 2008 through 2012. Step two is decision one. Should I keep current yields or update based on 2008 to 2012 yields? The guidance here is to choose the option that results in the highest yield. Step three deals with decision two, whether to keep current base acres or update based on 2009 to 12. 2012 plantings. Our guidance here is to choose the one that maximizes the acres with the highest expected payments. We will go through that in detail in step three. Steps four and five deal with the program choice for receiving commodity program payments. You have three options, ARC County, PLC, and ARC Individual. Step four suggests that you select Arc County and PLC for each crop on your FSA farm. You could split the decision. If you have Arc County or if you have wheat on a farm and soybeans, you could put wheat in Arc County and PLC on soybeans. These are separate decisions for each crop and that's why we divided this up into two steps. Step four is suggesting that you maximize your program choice for each per crop and then compare it to ARC IC, which is a whole farm program. ARC IC is a whole farm policy. It lumps together all crops on your FSA farms and it also puts together all FSA farms involved in ARC IC. There are a number of reasons why we believe that most farmers will not choose this option and those are covered more in detail in step five. Step six is to consider SCO. SCO is a county level crop insurance product that provides coverage above RP, YP, and RP with exclusion. SCO's policy is only available if you choose price loss coverage. Hence, that's why we're considering it as you're making your program choice. Our guidance would be this, that there's more risk management benefits as combo product it only has up to a 75% coverage level. If you have an 85% coverage level product available to you, SCO has very few risk management benefits. In step seven then, we finally talk about the sign up product process. One of the tools that we will make extensive use of is APAS, 
which was developed by Watson Associates, and you see the web address listed here. This has a number of utilities that we will use, updating payment yields, reallocating base acres. In addition, the APAS sample farms contains estimates of PLC, ARC County, and ARC IC payments for all major producing agricultural producing counties in the U.S. This tool also has a build your own farm case in case you want to drill down into the decision making process. With this background, you should be ready to go through the process. We would suggest going through the steps sequentially at least once to get a feel for the entire process. And if you have any comments or feedback, hit the email bunch button and send us a comment and we will work at incorporating that into this material. Best wishes on your pro commodity program decision making.